Hello everyone and welcome to another YouTube video. Today is day number 26 of posting a wrestling commentary video every single day until I get hired by a major wrestling promotion. And today we are taking a look at perhaps one of the greatest matches of all time. A very, very highly acclaimed match. It is, of course, No Way Out. 2006 with the world heavyweight title on the line it is none other than the olympic gold medalist kurt angle versus the dead man the phenom the undertaker these are two wwe hall of famers in their prime going at it one on one here we go let's get right into it all right it's the undertaker it's kurt angle oh here we go, that quickness of Kurt Angle right out the gate. Undertaker went for a boot. Kurt Angle got out of harm's way. Kurt Angle looking for a German suplex early on, but Undertaker makes his way to the ropes, forcing a rope break. And now Kurt Angle with a cheap shot to the back, and the Undertaker goes wide right after Kurt Angle, but Kurt Angle goes to the outside onto the floor. And now Undertaker saying, come on, let's do this thing. Kurt Angle... Has that quickness. The Undertaker has to slow this thing down to his pace. If he's going to walk away as the new World Heavyweight Champion. And head to WrestleMania as the World Heavyweight Champion. And now they're going to lock up collar and elbow. Side headlock from the Undertaker. It's that size advantage. That, that's the story right there. There's that size advantage from the Undertaker to Kurt Angle. But Kurt Angle is so powerful. So explosive. His, his abilities inside the ring truly make up for the size disadvantage he has against The Undertaker. And, we'll, and The Undertaker going for that arm now of Kurt Angle. Now, this is smart from The Undertaker because now you're weakening that arm, that same arm that, that needs to pull the grip on that ankle when you're twisting the ankle. If you lose any feeling, any muscle, any strength in that arm, it's... It's not going to be as effective at ankle lock. And now Undertaker stomping away on the Olympic gold medalist. Once again, going after that arm. Undertaker, multi-time heavyweight champion, looking to become heavyweight champion once more. Look at this. Look at the strength. The Undertaker just picks up Kurt Angle high. Look at the way he just lifts Kurt Angle up high. And Kurt Angle... Oh, lands on Kurt Angle with that leg drop. Now has the arm locked in. A, a, a modified short arm scissor from the dead man as Kurt Angle tries to break free, pulling on the hair. Referee saying, hey, you got to let go. You can't pull on the hair. Undertaker, it seemed he was, thought he was going for a cover, but continuing the pressure on the arm of Kurt Angle, trying to take that arm out of play as we get into the ladder of this match. But being so early on, Undertaker's trying to make sure Kurt Angle doesn't even get that far. Now, Kurt Angle with a right hand as he tries to pick up some momentum. But just like that, Undertaker shakes Kurt Angle right back down to size as he rakes that arm down. And the Undertaker perhaps heading to climb the ropes, so but maybe perhaps hold school. And Kurt Angle realizing it stops the Undertaker. And now Kurt Angle going at the Undertaker with these blows. But you can see that damage that's been done. Angle trying to shake off the pain. Look at that. The Undertaker once again flipping Kurt Angle. Going after that arm that he's been working on throughout this match so far. And now the Undertaker going up one more time. And this time looking for some old school and it connects old school from the dead man and the undertaker continuing the attack on angle angle goes at angle angle goes at taker full speed but undertaker goes with the cover one two angle rushed at the undertaker undertaker goes for a flat liner goes for the cover one two kick out and, you know, you don't always see Kurt Angle rush at his opponents like that. And a little bit of snake eyes 
from the Undertaker. Went for that big boot, but Kurt Angle, that quickness coming into play. Got to have harm's way. And here comes a German suplex from the machine. And Kurt Angle, one, two, and Undertaker able to kick out a two. You can see Angle holding onto that arm. And now going to stomp away here on the dead man unloading he stomps in the corners undertaker trying to fight back but the only thing that the, what's going to save now is this rope break for the referee you don't want to get disqualified i mean there is champion's advantage in this match kurt angle can get counted out and he'll still leave as the champion driving the shoulder into the midsection of the undertaker and the undertaker sending kurt angle into the corner Oh, and that huge high knee from the dead man. Hits right into the face of Angle. Goes for one more. Still in for that big boot. Instead, Angle got out of harm's way once again. That quickness I was talking about earlier coming into play. And now sends Undertaker off the ring apron and heads right into the ring barricade. This is going to buy Kurt Angle that time he needs to recover a little bit. Get that arm you know, the cobwebs shaking off of the arm. And see what condition his arms can be. And now he rolls to the outside. Going after the Undertaker. Head first right into those steel steps. And both of these men having been in main events at WrestleMania. Both men know what it's like to be headlining the showcase of Immortals. Both men want that feeling once more. Will they head to WrestleMania? Who's going to... Oh, but the Undertaker catches Kurt Angle, driving him spine first right into the ring post. Oh, my. An Undertaker just really breaking apart Kurt Angle. Things have not been looking too good for the Olympic gold medalist early on in this contest. Undertaker, the challenger, has really shown that, you know, perhaps maybe he's going to leave as the World Heavyweight Champion. He has broken down Kurt Angle quite a bit. In these past few minutes since this match has begun. And now has Kurt Angle propped up on the ring apron. And the Undertaker. What's the dead man thinking next? A big elbow strike. Big elbow strike to weaken up Kurt Angle. And the Undertaker heads up those steps. As Angle in position on the ring apron. Undertaker thinking a big move coming up with a leg drop to Kurt Angle right on the ring apron. 300 plus pounds right across the chest and neck of the world heavyweight champion Kurt Angle. The Undertaker rolls back in the ring. Let's take a look at this one more time. Boom! Right on the chest of Angle. 300 pounds crashing down. And that'll knock the wind out of Kurt Angle. It's almost like your heart stops for a second. And the Undertaker sends Kurt Angle back in the ring. Looking to take advantage of this. Go for a cover. One, two. Angle gets the shoulder up at two. Undertaker thought that might have been it right there. But the World Heavyweight Champion Kurt Angle able to kick out a two. And now the Undertaker's measuring up Kurt Angle. Perhaps a choke slam coming up. Choke slam from the dead man to close this one out, but Angle stomps at the knee. Now kicks to the knees of the Undertaker. And Undertaker, with a huge right, takes Kurt Angle right back down, knocking him off his feet. Undertaker sends Angle into the ropes. Angle, chop block to the back of the knee of the Undertaker. Now going after that left knee. That's brilliant. That same knee that he stomped on early to break out of that choke slam. There we go. Now this is where Kurt Angle becomes dangerous because he's going to break down that knee, break down that left. He's going to break down that left leg of the Undertaker, weaken it so that when it's time to get the ankle lock, it'll be all over. This is that strategy we've seen time and time again from the Olympic gold medalist and a right hand from Angle as he drives the leg of the Undertaker right 
into the ring post. And he's looking to do it once more. Ooh. 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 Once more to the dead man. And Angle goes back in the ring to break the count. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. The figure four. Figure four on the ring post. And you can see the Undertaker writhing in pain. The damage is being done. Undertaker could tap out here. It wouldn't matter. Kurt Angle might get himself counted out if he waits too long. But this is smart. He's taking advantage of the time that he has. Goes back and rolls back in the ring. And the ref saying, keep it in the ring. And now Kurt rolls to the outside. As the Undertaker starts limping away. Tries to get back in the ring. But Kurt Angle... Oh, an elbow to the knee on the ring apron. Elbow to the knee of the Undertaker right on the ring apron. Multiples of those. Going to continue that attack. Kurt Angle goes for a cover. One. Only enough for a one count there on Undertaker. The Undertaker can hardly walk at this point. And as Kurt Angle continues the attack on that knee, he's been weakening. Now, the Undertaker holding on to the leg of Kurt Angle, trying to create some separation. This is a desperate move from the Undertaker as Kurt Angle unloads his clubbing blows to the face of the Undertaker, trying to break free, trying to get that grip broken. Now, Kurt Angle out and free from the Undertaker as he looks to stomp on the ankle on the ring ape, on the ring rope, on the. Oh, look at the damage done right there. Bottom rope puts all of. All of Kurt Angle's weight right onto that left leg. Kurt Angle. Once again. Oh, driving. All that weight once more onto the ankle. Onto the leg of the Undertaker. Perhaps a third time. Oh, but the Undertaker blocked it this time. And Angle instead just says, you know what? I'm just going to stomp on your knee then. If you're going to try and block it, I'll just stomp on your knee. An uppercut from Angle. Oh, and Undertaker grabs the singlet of Angle, sending him to the outside. Desperation move for the dead man. Buys himself some time. And now the Undertaker rolls to the outside of the ring. Can Taker capitalize on the situation? He now has a bit of a lead. He's now in the driver's seat. Undertaker with the knees to the midsection of Kurt Angle. And you got to remember, there's still that count. Uh, halfway there, Undertaker has Kurt Angle right up on the ring apron once more. We saw that we saw that leg drop earlier. All those 300 pounds of the dead man crashing down on the chest. Oh, boot to the side of the head of Angle. And the Undertaker, you can see the damage being done as he limps, trying to pull himself up on the ring apron. Maybe another leg drop. Inflict more damage. Knock the wind out of Angle. As he favors that leg. And again, but Kurt Angle caught the Undertaker. Cat caught the Undertaker. He's caught. He's caught. Ankle lock. Ankle lock on the outside. Look at this from Angle. Kurt Angle's trying to break the ankle of the dead man. Kurt Angle's got that locked in, but the ref has the count. The Undertaker pulling on his hair, trying to just pull through the pain, to push through the best he can. As Kurt Angle wrenches on the knee, the ankle, the damage is being done. Kurt Angle rolls back into the ring, breaks the count. And now goes again after the ankle of the Undertaker. And again after the ankle of the Undertaker. Wrenching on it. Putting all that pressure. And the ref already back up that count. You don't want to accidentally get yourself counted out. I mean, for Kurt Angle, it doesn't matter. He'll leave as the champion. But he won't win the match. Kurt Angle's going to break the ankle of the Undertaker. And he doesn't care. Oh, realized he had to roll back in the ring to break the count. Kurt Angle tried to lift the Undertaker, getting him back up in the ring. But realized he didn't have enough time to get the Undertaker and himself back in the ring before the count of 10. And the Undertaker just collapses in the center of the ring. And now these elbow drops onto the knee of the Undertaker. Another one. And the Undertaker trying to hold on to Angle, trying to break free, trying to find some relief in all of this. The Undertaker 
trying to break the hold, pulling on the arm of Angle, that's leaning on that knee, that's pulling back on the ankle of the Undertaker, the dead man trying to do anything he can to get some relief. But Angle has that cravat on the ankle, stomps on the hamstring, kicks to the hamstring of the Undertaker, really going full force on picking apart this left leg of the challenger. And Kurt Angle pulls the Undertaker back into the side of the ring. And now more elbow drops as the Undertaker once again trying to push on Angle, trying to push him off, trying to break free. He's in a very awkward position. And you can see Undertaker moving his arms here, unmoving his arms there, trying to figure out which way to break Kurt Angle off. But here comes these clubbing blows to the side of the head. This might do it. But Kurt Angle just wrenched back even further with more force, more authority on to the injured leg of the dead man. The Undertaker pulling on the jaw of Angle, trying to break free. Now pulls Angle down. These legs, leg drops. Now forces Angle, Angle to break free of the hold. And now Undertaker finally has that separation he needs to recover. But Angle, takedown, Undertaker, double leg takedown. And now clubbing blows to the face of the Undertaker. Oh, with the Undertaker, Undertaker, triangle, triangle, triangle choke in the center of the ring. We've seen this before from the dead man. We've seen this a couple times. Undertaker has that triangle choke. Undertaker may be forced to tap out Kurt Angle. Undertaker may tap out Kurt Angle right here. Kurt Angle may be forced to tap out, but Kurt Angle able to get his feet on the bottom rope. Desperate, able to find that bottom rope. You can't see where you're going. You just have to feel it out and just know where you are. And that's great ring awareness from the champion. But the damage has been done to the Undertaker. The damage has been done to Kurt Angle. That'll weaken you. That'll weaken you down. Knock the wind out of you. That blocks off your airway. And overall, the overall throughout this match, it'll weaken how far that you can go, re reducing your stamina as you go into the fur as the further you get into this match, as you get into the deep waters of this contest. The Undertaker picking up Angle sends Angle in to the ring barricade face first. And now a right to Angle. Undertaker taking down the champion as the champion tries to crawl away to get himself some separation, buy himself some time. Now sends Kurt Angle right into the ring announcer, Tony Chimmel. Oh my. And now the Undertaker rolls back in the ring, breaks the count, realized that his title shot was in jeopardy. And the Undertaker sending Angle face first into the ring apron. And now, what a right to the face of Angle. And a second one for Angle. These two, without a doubt, future WWE Hall of Famers. And Undertaker clearing off the announce desk. The Undertaker has had enough. He's done playing games. Things are about to pick up. But the Undertaker rolls back in the ring. Kurt Angle trying to pull himself back up. Undertaker telling the ref stop counting. He just needed some time. And now rolls to the outside really to break that count. And Undertaker walks towards Kurt Angle with that limp. Goes for a strike, but Kurt Angle ducks. He ducks with an angle slam through the table. And goes right through the announce desk. Both men are down. Who's going to take control? That took a lot out of Angle just to be able to lift the Undertaker up with all that these two have been through throughout this match. What an angle slam from the champion. Let's take a look at this one more time. Undertaker goes for that strike. Angle ducks it. And then, boom, nails the Undertaker with the angle slam right through the announce desk. Let's take a look at it one more time from a different angle. Boom, right through the announce desk as the announce desk imploded. And now Kurt Angle rolled back inside the ring. Buying himself some time. The Undertaker is down and out trying to recover. You can see him trying to pull himself up. The Undertaker might get counted out. This is smart from the champion. 
you can win via count out. Kurt Angle, if he wins, he adds to WrestleMania as the champion. At referee Nick Patrick already at the count of that seven. At the count of seven, Undertaker is very far away from the ring. It could feel like miles for the dead man. And Kurt Angle tells the ref to stop. Kurt Angle could have won it right there. Ref was at nine. Kurt Angle saying he wants to win this fair and square. Kurt Angle did not want to win this on a count out and now is going after the Undertaker. And, the, and Kurt Angle with an uppercut to the challenger. And now Undertaker just got saved by Angle who could have let this match and easily by a count out. But instead, Kurt Angle wanting to win things the right way. But could that backfire on the champion? As the Undertaker turns things around, sending Kurt Angle into the stale steps. And just like that, the dead man, the Undertaker, has taken control. Let's take a look at this one more time. Kurt Angle, Irish whipping the Undertaker in the steps. But the Undertaker reversing it. And Angle goes spine first into those solid steel steps. And now the Undertaker, just like that, back in the driver's seat. Kurt Angle holding onto the neck. Perhaps the damage has been done. We know Kurt Angle's had that neck surgically repaired quite a few times. And the Undertaker rolls the champion back into the ring. This could be his time, his moment to shine. The refs up there was up there in the count. Undertaker breaking the count. Undertaker goes back outside. What is he thinking? As the Undertaker pulls himself up on the ring apron, pulling himself up on... Up to the top? Undertaker's going to look in the fly? And Angle got, got up, went for the right to Undertaker. Angle had enough time to recover. The damage to the knee made it difficult for Undertaker to pull himself up to that top rope. And now Kurt Angle looking to meet Undertaker up there. Oh, no. This isn't going to be pretty. Things are about to pick up. The Undertaker with his low blows to the midsection. Trying to take out Kurt Angle. And takes Kurt Angle off the ring apron. But Undertaker's dazed as he tries to pull himself up. And Undertaker pulls himself up. But Kurt Angle, at the time, belly to belly sends the Undertaker off the top. And they crash and burn into the ring apron. Goes for the cover. One, two. Oh, but the Undertaker gets the shoulder up at two. That was really close. That could have been all it, but it was not. That belly to belly really turned things around for the Olympic gold medalist, Kurt Angle. The Undertaker's flat on his back. Now Kurt pulls Undertaker up. And now a knee right to the side of the head. Undertaker with a coming back with a right of his own. Angle unloading. Boom, what a right. Angle going to pick up some space at the ropes. Pick, went to pick up some steam, but The Undertaker makes sure Kurt Angle meets his boot with a big boot. One, two, boom, and Angle gets the shoulder up at two. Kick out by the champion at two. What is The Undertaker going to have to do to keep the champion down for three? Perhaps he realizes that maybe that choke slam this time will connect. Undertaker going for the blow, going for the kill. Angle now realizing... And it's too late as the Undertaker, what goes up, must come down, but Angle turns things around. Look at this, look at this, ankle lock, ankle lock, ankle lock. What a counter from the champion. Ankle lock, locked in on that bad leg of the Undertaker, tries to break free, but Angle turns things around and cinches the lock in deeper as the angle lock is locked in, center of the ring, Undertaker in no man's land. Angle putting a, all that pressure onto the leg, onto the knee, onto the ankle. Undertaker writhing in pain as Angle is screaming, telling the Undertaker to give up, telling him to tap. But Undertaker turns into a triangle. Look at this desperation move once more from the dead man. Undertaker's got Angle. Angle may have to tap out. Angle may get choked out right here, right now. Kurt's going to tap. Gonna tap, but look at this angle turn it into the ankle lock. Look at this, the ankle lock applied once more. 
Angle's yelling for The Undertaker to tap. Will The Undertaker tap? He may have no choice as he's writhing in pain in the center of the ring. Nowhere to go. Kurt Angle with the ankle lock. Undertaker rolls through and breaks free. Buys himself some time, but the damage has been done once more to the bad leg. Oh, but The Undertaker got his angle with a choke slam. A choke slam out of nowhere to Kurt Angle. Now goes for the cover. New champ. One, two, but Angle kicks out at two and a half. Angle able to kick out at two and a half. The champion still holds on to his title as he looks to head to WrestleMania. Undertaker thought that was it. Thought he was heading to WrestleMania. And now the Undertaker calling his shot. Perhaps ready to take Kurt Angle for one last ride to end this match. Kurt Angle dazed his on wobbly legs. Boot to the midsection of Angle from the Undertaker. And here we go. It's one last ride. Here we go. The last ride. But Angle rolls through. Sunset flip. Sunset flip. Turns it into the ankle lock. Ankle lock again to the dead man. And even more pressure applied this time. Undertaker may have to tap. Neither man has ever tapped out in their entire career. And it may be the night that the Undertaker taps for the first time in his historic career. As Angle salivating at the mouth. As the Undertaker nearly about to pass out. Nearly about to tap out. Tries to reach for the bottom rope. But has nowhere to go. Undertaker almost there, it seems, but he's about, looks like he's about to pass out from all the pain. Fingertips away, but Angle pulls him back into the center of the ring. And yanks Taker back into the center of the ring. But Undertaker breaks free, buys himself some time. Went for a right to Angle. Angle with an Angle Slam! The Angle Slam once more. This is it. In the cover. One, two, three. Oh, Krangle thought we thought Angle was going to Mania, but not yet. The Undertaker has not given up hopes as heading, as, of heading into WrestleMania as the World Heavyweight Champion. This battle has been one hell of a battle. Who's going to hit the final blow? Who's going to hit that final move that's going to take them to WrestleMania? Angle, the straps come down, but The Undertaker sits up. The dead man rises once more, and he doesn't look happy. He's ready to strike as these two trade blows in the center of the ring. And the Undertaker sends Angle into the ropes. Angle gets picked up by the Undertaker, perhaps. Oh, no, a tombstone from the Undertaker. Went, oh, tombstone pile driver now from Kurt Angle, who turned things around. Looking for a tombstone of his own, and now the Undertaker has the tombstone. But Angle rolls through, rolls through, rolls through. Look at this. Grabs that ankle again. Grabs the ankle. And he's fired up. The Undertaker may be forced to submit right here, right now. Kurt Angle just turning things around. And now doubles down by locking his legs around the leg of the Undertaker. And now the Undertaker has nowhere to go. This is it. This is it. The Undertaker's not going to be able to get out of this. This is that final blow. The Undertaker... His hand comes up. Undertaker could be close to tapping out, but he's trying to do everything he can to not tap out. The ankles that is laced, that leg is laced up by Angle, but Undertaker turns, turns his weight around, shifts the weight, now stomping on the face of Angle, trying to break free, and he does for the time being, breaking that grip of the ankle lock. Both men exhausted. They've put each other through absolute hell. And now, what next? Both men trying to pull themselves back up to their feet. Angle, behind, 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 with a third angle slam. Angle's got it. This is it. Cover. Oh, but look at this. Triangle choke from The Undertaker. Look at this. A triangle choke from The Undertaker turns things around. And The Undertaker's got it locked in tight. And Angle, moments away from falling asleep. Angle's going to tap. Angle's fading. The champ is fading. And Undertaker pulled out a glass gasp effort. This may take him to WrestleMania as the champion slowly fades away. Kurt Angle trying not to tap, trying to stay with us, trying to stay cognizant. 
Kurt Angle trying to do everything he can not tap. It keeps raising up like he's about to tap, but he's not going to do it quite yet. Angle's not ready to give up, but his body just collapses. That's it. Kurt Angle's eyes are shut. We got ourselves a new champion. That's one. The arm goes down three times. We got ourselves a new world champion. Two. And... Oh! Angle! Angle! Oh, but look at this! Angle! One rolls through. One, two, three. I think Angle pinned the Undertaker. Angle. Angle turned things around. He was able to flip himself over. The shoulders of the Undertaker were down. Undertaker believes he's won. Undertaker thinks Kurt Angle tapped out. Taker had that hold for quite a while. But... The Undertaker's shoulders were down from what we saw. The Undertaker can't believe it. He's frustrated. He can't believe it. Kurt Angle is still the World Heavyweight Champion, and he's headed to WrestleMania with the big gold. What a match between The Undertaker and Kurt Angle. And in the end, it would be the Olympic gold medals, the World Heavyweight Champion, to retain his title. And he is headed to WrestleMania as the World Heavyweight Champion. All right, everyone. And that was The Undertaker versus Kurt Angle at No Way Out 2006 for the World Heavyweight Championship. In the end, Kurt Angle turning that triangle choke into a pinfall to take home the gold retained the gold, and went to WrestleMania as the World Heavyweight Champion. And with that being said, thank you all for tuning in to another YouTube video. Don't forget to follow me on all my socials at Hype the Commentator on Instagram, right here on YouTube, on Twitch, on TikTok, and X. It is Hype Commentator. Thank you all for sticking with me on this journey, and I will see you all in the next one.